So this video is about broker architecture pattern. Now the real plug where you need different parts of your system to talk to each other without knowing each other directly. So now like middleman with Sabi Connect plug. But guys, you know, see for life, middlemen, they're very, very important. You know, if you do without them, you won't buy a car, you know, Sabi seller. But you go call broker, you know that kind of thing. You call the middleman. You want rent house, na agent, no be landlord. You they call directly. Now that same logic, broker architecture pattern they use. Now just the same style. So for software development, broker architecture, now the pattern where they use one middleman, aka broker, of course. So in job now to help client and servers communicate. You see, um, the client no need to sabi where the server day. Then go just go the broker say, I beg, I need the service. So broker go carry that message, go find the right server, collect results, and then return them. Simple. Now very simple logic. So I might give you real life example. If let's say you want chop food, but you know sabi who they cook, you just enter Jumia food, sabi who buy it. Now then be the broker you understand you order like this then go link you with any restaurant where they sell which in quote you carry on like the server you get they will collect the food bring her can't give you finish now the jumia now the jumia food and the uber eats be the middleman now the broker be that you get everybody don't happy for software world you go see this pattern for things like distributed systems microservices or even message queues you need example like Corba, for example, C O R B A. This one, an old guy, don't they? Message brokers like RabbitMQ or Apache Kafka, even G R O P C or WebSocket. Sometimes, then they behave like broker systems too. So, what will be the benefits? Of course, loose coupling. Client and server no need to sabi each other. Mm -mm. They no need to. So, if you develop your servers with different, different, different people, if you develop and bot. The broker go make all of them communicate with the client. Therefore, scalability. You feel add more servers. Broker go just they distribute the work. Hold on. Therefore, security. Broker feel manage authentication so that clients no go they reach server directly. You you grab a bit. But me will not lie yo. Broker fee become your simple point of failure. <laughs> if you know Sabi scale am well, if broker fail, while well, I go bust. Plus, if it's slow, small, if traffic to choke. So if you debut your next big thing, just ask yourself, I go need broker. Like my next project, what they look say, bless I go need bro broker. No go be like all these Nigerian people. We be saying I want small project. We be saying monolith fee and do One person go they build microservices. They do everything. No go be like that to Nigeria of Asabi overdo, they will always worry you now. So if your app they serve plenty clients and you want flexibility or you want flexible communication, broker architecture pattern, not the way. So, anyways, bye.